seconds left of the song <laughs> very quick from John all right guys um, so please do keep sending in your messages uh, to do with love questions if you have any worries as well uh, please do make sure you message us we're gonna pick two winner uh, two winners I think I'll make sure of that but thanks you signed CD and a postcard from John and a Sam and John video message yeah I think it is two winners um, so Let's see what other messages we have. We've got loads coming in, so thank you very much for participating. It makes this show so much more fun when you're really giving us content. So, yes. Cool. Why don't you kick us off? All right, let's go. Stina Johansson from Sweden. Hello, Sam and John, my absolute favorite duo. Today, I will challenge you with a Swedish tongue twister. Which one will make it better? Sam, that yeah. I've... Oh, wait. Sam, uh, that I've thought some or the German-born John. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but, so basically, it's between us two, huh? Right. All right. Uh, because if you ask me, German has some similarities uh, with uh, Swedish. I mm. remember one thing I learned in Germany: uh, Ausfahrt Freiheit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea if she spell uh, if I spelled that right. <laughs> um, no, it's actually Ausfahrt. It's nearly spelled correctly. Um, almost there. It, almost there. It means uh, you know keep the entrance keep the entrance way free you know like when you have like the entrance to like a parking lot or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your own driveway or something yeah. keep, keep driveway free or like, ah yeah yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What basically do not park it's kind do of not that park kind of, yeah. that kind of feel okay yeah so here comes the twister right oh, give it a go twist that tongue okay <laughs> go for it go for it <laughs> I will twist that tongue alright okay <laughs> Siu 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 ka siu man scooters up siu siu scooter score par that soon can escape at Shanghai lots of love Sina why is that Shanghai in there I think that sounds pretty good though yeah it did sound kind of Swedish obviously I have no idea what I'm talking about but yeah. that um, sounds pretty good me neither but I'm just gonna say that was Swedish it, it was perfect Swedish actually <laughs> uh, you know I'm gonna say it, it was perfect all right thank well you so much. much cool all right Suzanne. From Singapore, gosh, Sam. Hope it's nothing serious. No worries. I will tune in. Um, sad to say, my boss has already called me three times since the second hour. Luckily, I got back in time to hear you read my message, Suzanne. Um, uh, yeah, again, apologies. Next week, I'll I'll do a good one for you. Thank you very much. All right, next one from Hannah from Germany. The clothes issue of girls. Well, most of the time, I don't have that issue, but when I have it, it has one reason. We girls want to look our best with fashionable clothing that suits us. Due to the always changing uh, fashion, we always feel as if our clothes are out of fashion. In addition, we usually are very critical and really critical with ourselves, so we always find something we don't like about our clothes. Mm -hmm. So, 
in the end, we feel that our clothes won't make us look the best, and that's why we stand in front of the uh, the wardrobe and think uh, we have nothing to wear. Interesting. I, I don't, still don't. Understand. So much thought about yeah. just like you know clo pieces of cloth that know. Yeah, you know hide your body parts. Anyways, I don't know. Right, uh, okay, we've got a problem here. Jenny from the USA. This is going to be a long message, so apologies yep. in advance. A year ago, my boyfriend and I broke up over some differences. We were going out for 16 months and broke up days before Valentine's Day. We didn't have much interest in that. Uh, he was more into gaming, Lego, and uh, listened to, like, orchestra music, whereas mm -hmm. I'm more into photography, dancing, and K-pop. Because of these differences, I put in the effort to know more about his hobbies, like trying to learn how to play his games, watch his movies, listen to his music. So I decided to show him some K-pop music videos and some actors and actresses. He liked a few, but whenever I listened to music in my car, he'll turn down the volume. Whenever he drove, he never lowered the volume. He didn't really put any effort into my interests. He always got jealous whenever I talked about K-pop artists, as, and he'll try to one-up me with his favourite actress. So the deal-breaker was when I had to decide to either go to his senior formal or a K-pop convention, and I decided to go to the K-pop convention. He got really upset because he didn't understand my reasoning. I told him that K-pop means so much to me, it's such a big part of my life, because I'm who I am today because of it, because of that I broke it off with him. What is your opinion on this? Do you believe that opposites attract? Hmm. Interesting. What, yeah. do you, what do you reckon, John? I can see John is deep in thought. I think... I think you have to really know um, how far you want to go for, this, uh, for the other person. Mm -hmm. So if you think you are willing to go like uh, quite, quite a distance for the other person that you're like meeting, um, then, then it's worth it. You know, like you yeah. should, you should get something out of it. You know, don't don't just like put in your effort for nothing. You yeah. Know? So yeah, that's my opinion. Absolutely, I think when you really really care about someone, you tend to sh try and make effort with their interests. Of course. And yeah. the fact that he maybe didn't make any effort at all is kind of, yeah, it doesn't look good. But at the same time, he, I would have got upset as well about the convention thing. Yeah, I would have. To be honest it. with you. Yeah. I think that was normal for him to be upset, but I, so I think, Jenny, I think there were there were things that obviously he should have made more effort, mm. and um, you know, you probably were a bit down in the situation yeah. and decided not to make effort as well, I kind of get it, yeah. um, but maybe it's for the best. Mm. Maybe it was also like a reaction to like him not, you know, uh, putting a lot of effort into yeah. the whole relationship that you were saying, okay, I'm going to go to the K-pop uh, convention, mm. alright, um, yeah. So, yeah we, we understand, it's yeah. difficult. Opposites to tracks, I think, maybe in personalities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in personalities, maybe sometimes in jobs and stuff, you know, why not? Yeah, it's interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool, all right. All right, we've got another one from Luz Maria from Mexico. I have a tongue twister for you guys. What is it with tongue twisters again? We were liking the tongue twisters. Yeah, I wish uh, to... Well, oh my God. All right, let's <laughs> try this. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. John, do you know some easy tongue twister in German uh, to teach to Sam? Have a great day. Who's from Mexico? Thanks, Liz. I do indeed. Do you? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Are, are you ready? I'm, re I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I can't hear you. I'm ready. All right. So, Fischer's Fritze fished frische Fische. <laughs> you just blew my mind. All right, all right, let's try it. Fischer so, Fritzer. Fischer's, uh, uh, Fischer Fritzer. Fischer Fritzer. Fisch, frische Fische. Fisch, frische Fische. Yeah. Fischer Fritzer, Fisch, frische Fische. I can't do either. Fisch, frische Fische, frische Fische. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. So anyhow, yeah, that was the German version. Oh, uh, it's so hard. I know pizza pies are pizza pepper, pickled peppers. What? Pizza piper, pizza pecker, pe pickled peppers. When pizza piper picked the peck of pickled peppers, the pickled peppers that he pickled pick. That sounds dirty. Yep. <laughs> My bad. I'll move All on right. now. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, no, we need to play some music, John. Oh, All right. right. So make sure you send in loads more messages and questions, uh, loads of prizes, pack you on sign CD, postcard, mm. and Sam and John video message. Send in your messages, guys. The next song is by Bestie. This is uh, Yone Chokan Love Options.
Okay, now, um, we have been asking for your messages to do with love, and we're picking two winners today, one to get a signed CD of Pak Shuan and a postcard from John, and also we're giving away a Sam and John video message, so you've participated loads and loads, so thank you so much everybody, we'll now uh, do the final bit and see what messages we have left, John? Alright, let's start off with Lucy Mariotti again from Indonesia. Mm. Whoa, John, I didn't mean to change your name. Apparently, I was reading a message in my friend's group uh, chat group or group chat, and my friend's name, Josh, is there. So uh -huh. after hearing you say about uh, something about the news, I didn't realize I was typing my friend's name. Ah, sorry. Okay, <laughs> there we are. Um, no well. problem at all. It's no absolutely problem. fine. Cool, Rusty. Thanks very much. Alexandra from Romania. Well, I'm not the type of girl that will stare at her wardrobe for hours before choosing my outfit, but it depends. If I go to college, I just grab something random, but if I go out with someone or, or on a date, it might take me like half an hour to decide because you have to look good and leave a good impression. The same with makeup. It takes me five minutes to put my makeup on. Wow. All right. Cool. That happens. Yeah. Uh, and the next one is from Kathy from Canada. Hello, Sam and John. Uh, so I'm quite uh, the opposite of Emma. I have lots of guy friends and not all that many girlfriends. Maybe one or two that I actually talk to since girls usually just have too much drama and I get picked on a lot. Mm. But that's besides the point. Right. Although I have many guy friends, none of them, uh, none of them, and wait, all, all, although I have many guy friends, yeah. uh, none of them and I really get feelings for each other, all right, mm -hmm. and just families <laughs> each other, that's okay. a new word, um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of weird, uh, they, because they all just end up seeing me as a little sister and I seem mm -hmm. to see them as a little, no, as an older brother as well, so I was wondering, um, am I doing something wrong that all the guys I become friends with don't see me more than a little sister? I usually see most of my other friends would end up becoming a couple together. Am I weird? Lol. Okay, interesting. I, I know a few girls like this who have a lot of guy mates, and I don't think it's a bad thing at all. No. I think it's just how you, it's just, it's just you. I yeah. Don't, yeah. I don't think you need to change anything, and I'm sure you'll find someone who appreciates that and loves that about you, and uh, yeah. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is just a completely normal thing, and it's just yeah. a personality thing. That's it. No need to change anything, yeah. I reckon. Alicia from the USA, let me explain women and choosing clothes from my perspective. It's more than just finding clothes to wear. I think about the occasion, the time of the event, what other people might be wearing. There's lots to think about. One of my best girlfriends thinks the same way. Oh. Okay, so I get, yeah, I can understand a little yeah. bit more now. A yeah. little bit, a little bit. Cool. It's still a mystery. Okay. <laughs> Still, a little Still bit of All right, Alicia from U the USA. I found out last week two of my best friends are dating. I'm so excited for them. I've known uh, things uh, Sheena eight years and Corey three years. I don't know why, but they are uh, they were really nervous about telling me. Corey thought I would ban them or something. I mm. sort of expected this because they have a lot in, in common from uh, where they grew up, love of movies and humor, among other things. Mm. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I understand why they were probably nervous for long time friends and it's going to change the whole relationship and stuff yeah. Yeah. all right a new love has blossomed fantastic oh, yeah. <laughs> Nadia's there from the USA 
Is there a way to get more luck in my love life? I'd have terrible luck. Mm. What, what's a good way to get good luck in love? Um, um, it's quite difficult, go running. Actually. Go running. Go running. Go running. Work on those legs. Yeah, work on those legs and jump up and down and so uh, everything do. will be good. So work out, yeah. basically. Work out. Right. Fantastic. Uh, oh, sorry, it's your turn. Yes, we got yeah. another one from Amy Vo from Australia. To John, I just wanted to grant... <laughs> I just wanted to congratulate your parents for making such a beautiful man. That is all I wanted to say. Sam, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have introduced us to John. You got booted off my beautiful list. That's so harsh. Oh, oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Who, who is that? <laughs> who is that? Amy. 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 Amy, come on! <laughs> so harsh. At least put me at the bottom of. The, I'm not even on the bottom of the list. <laughs> God. Oh dear. But yeah, no. Uh, we, let's say thanks to John's mum and dad. I'm gonna give you a hot chocolate. Oh. <laughs> uh, so John's mum and dad, if you're listening, um, you made uh, an amazing human being. Very tall. Is your dad tall, John? Uh, no, actually, both my parents. Both my parents are quite short. That's really weird. I yeah, think. that's interesting. So my old uh, yeah, teacher from Taekwondo, he always said, you know why you're so tall? Because you were doing Taekwondo since you're like four years old. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Cool. All right, then. Uh, let, we haven't got a lot of time. It's Caroline, very quickly from Estonia. I can't think of any love theme question, but I'll give you this. You're about to go out, but you discover you only have one pair of clean socks. They're from a different pair each. Will you put on those different pair of socks or go search the cleanest ones from the dirty laundry? Ooh, oh, that's a tough oh, one. Yeah. That's actually tough. Oh. So two dirty socks, yeah, or clean socks, but they're odd. They look weird. Hmm. I go for the weird socks. The weird, yeah. odd, clean. Because yeah. because it's better not to smell. Be yeah. <laughs> Being clean is more important. Yeah. There we are. Okay then. Um. We don't. Oh. Okay. We've got some time. We've just extended the time actually. So John, we've got time for another. Oh, okay. We got another one from uh, Seldiana from Indonesia. Hello, John and Sam. It's the first time I see John. Nice to meet you, John. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. You look handsome, John. Thank you. I'm in Jakarta. I'm in a safe place. Uh, I heard news from my friends who work near from the bomb uh, explosion. Um, the condition is safe now. Many police in there. I hope everything is uh, going well and uh, uh, yeah, and we're all going to be safe. John, I have a request. Can you make an egg yolk with a big smile? Thank you. Have a nice day, Sam and John. Smiley. John, okay. do, do that cute stuff. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst one I've ever heard. I... <laughs> oh my god, was that cute? Oh my, I've been doing this since 2012. That's the worst one I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was brilliant. Thank you very much, John. All right, we haven't got time, John. You need to pick two winners for us. All right. Okay, the first one to get a CD and a postcard. All right. Okay, let's do the postcard. Yeah, we'll go to <laughs> postcard goes to Yuna Goyer from the Netherlands. Congratulations. Cool. And um, the video message. Video message. Okay. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Rusi Mariotti from Indonesia. Congratulations, Congratulations, guys. John, thanks very much for joining me. It's been great. I'm going to see you same time, same place next week. And yes. um, introduce the last song for us. The last song is by DXX called Tides in a Pattern Drama Edit. Thanks very much.
wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. every day with myself, Sam Carter on Super K-pop. Right, earlier we had the quiz. The answer was, of course, B. Chinyang. Congratulations to those who got the correct answer. Message here from Sharifa from the Philippines. To the man who's sitting beside Sam, I can't remember your name. Can I call you mine? Boom! Kidding aside, don't be jelly, my hand, Sam. I love the both of you. Mahar Kokayu. Sharifa, well, I'm at the bottom of Amy's list, aren't I? On the beautiful list, so... Yeah, I am a little bit jealous, I must admit. Guys, you're going to have to make it up to me. Shufa, thanks very much for sending that in. I'm going to close up today's show. I'll be back tomorrow, so make sure you tune in. This is Super K-Pop. I'm your DJ, Sam Carter. I'll leave you with Niga Nayoto Ramyan, If You Were Me, by Noji Hun. See you tomorrow. Yeah.